Okay, so you downloaded Trackmania. You booted up the game and you jump right into a map. So you spend hours trying to perfect your time and once you finally hit that finish line with the perfect time that you grinded for... EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Yeah... But don't worry, because this series is here to help you. Wow. So let's get to it by telling you why you suck at Trackmania. <laughs> But before we jump into that juicy, juicy, high-octane skirt skirt that you just saw, we need to get a few things straight. Controls. Oh, you want a keyboard or a controller, steering wheel. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fast. It doesn't matter. You can be good with any controls, dude. Players in the most difficult tournaments play with all different kinds of controls. So if you enjoy keyboard, stick with that. If you're a controller player, cool, go for that. There's, of course, positive and negative things, but they're all technical and, you know, pretty small. So for all intents and purposes, you know, they're the same. So let's go through some key differences. <laughs> As a keyboard player, don't use the back arrow to break with because it can be awkward. So use another key like a control or whatever that your other hand can use to break. Because you will break, accelerate, and turn simultaneously all the time in the game. Also, controller players, notice how the keyboard doesn't have analog acceleration? Yeah, well, neither does the game. So stop using R2 and L2 buttons to gas and brake. Because, you know, why? I personally use X and Square on my PlayStation controller, but you know, you can use anything you want other than those analog controls because it's going to be easier for your fingers. By the way, speaking about analog controls, controllers have analog steering, right? You know, that has to be in the game. And of course it is. But you know, keyboards don't usually have analog keys. But as a keyboard player, you can utilize... Brrr, action keys! Woo! Yay! Yeah. They limit the steering that you can do by percentage of the maximum steering that the car can do, depending on, you know, the action key that you use. So if you press action key 1, that's 10% steering, action key 2 is 20%, 3 is 30%, and so on. And 0 resets you back to the default 100%. So this is like super nice as a keyboard player if you want some precise, precise steering uh, that you might, you know, want in the future. Foreshadowing. And not only that, of course controller players can use them too, you know? Don't, don't feel too left out. But keep in mind that you need to bind them to some buttons on your controller and that might not be as easy as is, you know? Because as a keyboard player, you have a plethora of keys to use, you know, specifically for the different camera angles. But as a controller player, you're kind of limited. So you see this wall, right? Not all maps will have the camera change happen for you. So it's pretty crucial that you're able to change that yourself in a moment's notice. So I would recommend having two camera angles bound. That should be enough. Your regular one, and then also cam three, which is the first person camera. Now, if that's your regular one, then, you know, I don't know. You're special. Go you. Awesome. But other than that, I think that's pretty much what you need in controls to get ready to get into the nitty gritty of the game. So we will do that in the next episode. We'll tell you more about why you suck at Trackmania, dude. Woo! Blah, 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 blah. Subscribe.